Hello friends, welcome to Prefacts Corner Series discussion. Today we will discuss on Wall Day against Child Labour, the ninth schedule, Goods and Service Tax Council, Luna Polo Exploration Mission, and I Flows Mumbai. Our first important article of the discussion is Wall Day against Child Labour. We know that every year on June 12th, the World Day Against Child Labour is observed in almost 100 countries all around the globe. The theme of this year is COVID-19 protect children from child labour now more than ever. The International Labour Organization has launched the World Day Against Child Labour in 2002, after which it is annually celebrated to raise awareness about the plight of child laborers worldwide. Some of the facts on child labor. Around 152 million children globally are engaged in child labor, out of which 72 million are in hazardous work. Child labor has declined by 94 million since 2000. The rate of reduction slowed by two thirds in recent years. Africa ranks highest among regions both in percent of children in child labor that is one fifth and absolute number of children in child labor that is 5 million. Asia and the Pacific ranks second highest in both these measures. As per census 2011 of India, there are more than 10 million child laborers. In India, child labor is concentrated primarily in agriculture that is around 71 percent. The United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child was adopted by the United Nations General Assembly on November 20 during 1989. India had ratified in 1990 which extends to individuals up to the age of 18. The convention recognizes the right of the child to be protected from economic exploitation and performing any work that is likely to be hazardous or to interfere with the child's education stated article 32 of the convention india has ratified the international labor organization conventions 182 and 138 towards the elimination of child labor next article is on Ninth schedule. Reacting to the Supreme Court's remarks that reservation is not a fundamental right, the Minister of Consumer Affairs reiterated to include all reservation related laws in the ninth schedule of Constitution so that they are sealed from judicial review. What is the ninth schedule of the Constitution of India? The ninth schedule contains a list of central and state laws which cannot be challenged in any courts. Currently, there are 284 such laws that are sealed from judicial review. The ninth schedule is a part of the constitution in 1951 when the document was amended for the first time. It was created by the new Article 31B along with Article 31A that was brought in by the government to protect laws related to agrarian reform and for abolishing the Jamindari system. Article 31A extends protection to classes of laws, whereas Article 31B seals specific laws or enactments. According to the provision of Article 31B, none of the laws specified in the ninth schedule shall be deemed to be void on the ground that is what that it was inconsistent with any of the fundamental rights, notwithstanding any judgments decree or order of any court or tribunal to the contrary. Next article is on GST Council. Recently, the 40th Goods and Service Tax Council was held about the GST Council. It is a constitutional body under Article 279A that makes recommendations to the union and state government on issues related to goods and service tax. It was introduced by the Constitution 101st Amendment Act of 2016. 
द काउंसिल इज चेयर्ड बाई द यूनियन फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर एंड अदर मेंबर्स आर द यूनियन स्टेट मिनिस्टर ऑफ रेवेन्यू और फाइनेंस एंड मिनिस्टर इन चार्ज ऑफ फाइनेंस और टैक्सेशन ऑफ ऑल द स्टेट इट इज कंसिडर्ड एज अ फेडरल बॉडी वेर बोथ द सेंटर एंड द स्टेट गेट ड्यू रिप्रेजेंटेशन एवरी डिसीजन ऑफ द गुड्स एंड सर्विस टैक्स काउंसिल सल बी टेकन एट ए मीटिंग बाई मेजोरिटी ऑफ नॉट लेस दैन थ्री फोर्थ ऑफ द वेटेड वोट्स ऑफ द मेंबर्स प्रेजिडेंट वोटिंग next important article is on luna polo exploration mission recently the isro that is indian space research organization and japan aerospace exploration agency will be launching a joint luna mission called the luna polo exploration the aim of the mission is to send a lunar rover and lander to explore the south pole region of the moon the objective of the mission is to obtain data on the quantity and forms of water resources present in order to determine the feasibility of utilizing such resources for sustainable space exploration activities in the future under the mission the japan aerospace exploration agency would be building the overall landing module and rover while isro would develop the lander system our last important article of this discussion is i flows mumbai recently the maharashtra chief minister and union minister for health and family welfare science and technology has launched an integrated flood warning system called as i flows mumbai mumbai is the only the second city in the country after chennai to get this system what is i flows mumbai it is a monitoring and a flood warning system that is able to relay alerts of possible flood prone areas anywhere between 6 to 72 hours in advance the system has a provision to capture the urban drainage within the city and predict the areas of flooding it will provide all information regarding possible flood prone areas like the height the flood water could attain the location wise problem areas it will calculate the vulnerability and risk of elements exposed to flood quick revision of the discussion the world against child labor is observed on june 12th and has ratified the international labor organization conventions 182 and 138 towards the elimination of child labor ninth schedule of the constitution of india contains a list of central and state laws which cannot be challenged in any courts the goods and service tax council is a constitutional body under article 279a the council makes recommendations to the union and state government on issues related to goods and service tax and was introduced by the constitution 100 and first amendment act of 2016 the luna polar exploration is a joint mission of isro and japan aerospace exploration agency I flows Mumbai is a monitoring and flood warning system thank you for watching